Hey everybody, welcome to Susie's Stuff. I'm Susie and this is my 60 second patriotic DIY. And what will it be today? Ooh, I got some goodies. I'm going to be doing three patriotic DIYs. Super easy, super quick, and most of the supplies are from Dollar Tree. And then there's one thing from Amazon. So don't forget, inspire each other. You certainly inspire me. So leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about everything. So let's sit back and get ready for a 60 second patriotic DIY. And my very first project today is called my Whirly Bird USA vase. This is so incredibly easy to put together. Just grab any vase that you have. Dollar Tree has many vases and just all these supplies here. I love those Dollar Tree Whirly Birds. And I also love such a beautiful 4th of July centerpiece for your indoor table or your outdoor table. I love these Whirly Birds. Um, Dollar Tree. I usually put them up in my front yard, just kind of line it on the 4th of July. I love those colors. And then just make a little label, whatever you want it to say, put it all together and you have a beautiful conversational piece. Just need some wind. I love that this comes together so quickly and you know you could even add some uh, greenery maybe trickling down the bottom some succulents if you like or just as is even a beautiful colored vase would be nice so enjoy your whirly bird USA vase today And here we go with our patriotic star tree. Now, this tree I got on Amazon and I have had it um, for about a year now and I love it because it's seasonal and it lights up. It runs on batteries and it has an on off and a, um, a timer on it. Now, if you don't have a tree like this, I love real branches from the backyard to stick in a vase like we did in our last DIY. So this is so easy to put together. All you need is some of the foam scatter uh, little stars. My clock has started. And so all I'm gonna do is just put on these little hanger thingies. Uh, I'm just looping over the twine and I'm gonna hot glue that to each of the stars. I love using this twine because it makes it look very rustic and all I do is just hot glue it on and then I trim the bottom just a little bit and then all that's left to do is to hang them on your tree. I love how this came together, so easy. The little hangers look so cute on this tree. I hope you can find one on Amazon. And I love it because I can use it seasonally. And don't forget, a branch from the backyard too works great. So enjoy this patriotic star tree. And for my last 60 second DIY today is called my flag patch frame. And I found this United States flag uh, at Dollar Tree over in the Crafter Square section. They had just put them out, so I hope that you can find one. If not, you could probably just use a sticker. I think that would be great too. So all I did was take it on this canvas and um, I got these rub off gold letters, sticker uh, uh, things, and they do not work on canvas. Do not use them, it came out horrible. But the good thing is I just rubbed it all off and so I had to show you my mistake because I didn't know it wasn't gonna work very well. But I, it did leave one little spot and I just took some paint and just painted over that. What I did use are these stickers that were gold and I'm gonna be spelling out freedom and I just love how this turned out. So sometimes those mistakes 
turn out to be uh, really good. So I love how this turned out. Beautiful, super easy. And then I took the little wood slats from Dollar Tree and just made a little frame around it. Super simple, super quick. The only thing that I think that I would do was maybe I needed to um, use sanding paper and you can also stain it if you like but this was a very quick DIY for you today and I am going to go back and stand those pieces of wood but I love how simple and beautiful this came out what do you think Ooh, and I love this candle. I made this candle last year um, with those window clings, and I just used some Mod Podge to put that on there with one of the blue Dollar Tree candles. So I hope you enjoy all of these 60 second patriotic DIYs. I hope I've inspired you to come up with something on your own. Please let me know on the comments down below what you think and what you can come up with. Uh, give me some ideas of maybe what you want next, and I hope you enjoy all of my 60 second DIYs today. Thanks for tuning in today. I post new episodes weekly, so make sure you get the Susie alert by clicking the bell. And always remember, you're not just a subscriber, but also a friend. So see you next time on Susie Stuff. KDIY Channel 146. Bye, everybody.